Moving on now to our final fight on tonight's card. This one for the first place prize of the Global House eight-man tournament in the women's 118-pound division. And introducing first, in the blue corner, Pancake CK Muay Thai Jim. She is 18 years old, stands at 162 centimeters, has 46 fights, 35 wins, and 11 losses. She trains and fights out of CK Muay Thai Jim. And now introducing her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She goes by the name of Karaket Kundum Commando or Karaket Commando Drink. 19 years of age, 160 centimeters tall. Has a total of 40 fights, 27 victories, 8 losses, and 5 draws. She's from Pitbury province and she is training out of Pa Mung Pet Gym. In the semi final bout or the bout that got Karaket to where she is today. She won by decision against Cindy Silvestra, who took third place in this Global House tournament earlier here tonight. As for Pancake, she took on Malaysia's Noor Amisha. She won that fight by decision. And that was a close contest, actually. A lot of people gave that fight to Noor Amisha. But nonetheless, it is Pancake CK Muay Thai Jim who is in the final against Garrigate Commando Drink or Garrigate Kung Doom Commando. But both of these athletes very well known to the Muay Thai scene. Competing in Bangkok very, very often. And for those that may not know, it's quite difficult for a lot of fighters to actually compete in Bangkok City, Thailand. You've got to build your way up from the provinces. I mean, how many fighters are there actually registered here in Thailand? Quite a lot, John. It'll be interesting to actually find a number on that, right? Yeah. But like you said, the, the ratio of fighters in Thailand to those who make it here into Bangkok is uh, quite slim. Got to be the best of the best for sure. There's no doubt about it. A lot of those fighters that come from rural Thailand, they, they win province titles. And even being at the top of the game in the province, you start from scratch when you get to Bangkok. It's just a different level. Yeah, it really is. Sometimes you see fighters from the same province or even the same town who become good enough and then compete in Bangkok City, Thailand. Does happen quite often. Final instructions from their corners. And here we go. Our main event is underway. Or excuse me, <laughs> our final battle of the evening is on the way. The Global House Tournament Finals at 118 pounds. No shots landing just yet. Very tense this matchup. Good kick there from Karaket. Pancake trying to land that left hand. Not landing it fully. And let's not forget how young these two fighters are. Karaket, 19 years of age. Pancake, 18 years of age. They're still very, very early on in their careers. You can imagine what a win in this tournament will do for these athletes. Pancake very much on the back foot, trying to find a way in. Yeah, just looking to faint a little bit, see what her opponent does, switching stances there. Not really the traditional style that you used to see him as far as the footwork goes. A little bit more jumpy, a little bit more kickboxing style from Pancake. But she does it effectively. Yeah, using a lot of feints and um, maybe perhaps too much of it. But she does connect with that right hand to the body. And now as Garrigate trying to get close and she does. She ma manages to land that low kick on Pancake. Good left hand there from Garrigate. And both of them into the clinch. And I've got to say, I've seen Pancake in the clinch a couple of times and going outside again. 
two, referee would look. He's like a magnet tonight. Yeah, I believe so. Got to give this guy overtime. <laughs> well, thank goodness it didn't happen to him whilst he was in the ring. I'm not sure it's worse now I think about it, though. Right hands connecting, or one right hand connecting for Karakit. Yeah, Karakit, definitely the more composed of the two fighters, just picking the shots effectively in there. Nice switch left kick. Solid one, two to follow up. And into the clinch once again, and um, that's where I believe that Pancake has the advantage. Seen her fight on the inside a couple of times, and she tends to have the advantage. That's a solid left hook there. And both of them now exchanging shots, and back into the clinch we go. Garrike with her hands over the face of Pancake, doing a good job there. So far, very difficult to separate these two. No one wants to risk making a mistake in this bout. And a oh. big elbow there from Karakhead, but the referee rules that a slip. And I believe that would have been a bit too harsh to call a knockdown. They're going to score some big points, though, for Karakhead, and that is the end of the first round. There you see the corner of Karakid. Not sure about his body language. Was he happy with that first round from Karakid? And there is Pancake, CK Muay Thai. Took a huge shot, but referee gave no standing eight count. Here's some of the action from that first round. Just want to take a look at um, how Karakid landed a shot, which took Pancake off her feet. And there it is, yeah. I think the referee made the correct decision. Did not land fully. Yeah, more of a push. That's right. Just taking Pancake off balance. But nevertheless, the power was displayed. Here we go. Round number two. I believe both competitors have to do more in this round. And if I was a betting man, I'd say the first round went to Karakhet. But thankfully, I'm not. Good knee to the midsection there, and a knee guard by Karakhet. And Pancake still fighting in the clinch, and Pancake doing a good job turning her opponent around. But Karakhet maintaining her balance. Yeah, doing a good job with that shin across the waist, using it like a defensive wall. And a fantastic knee guard there from Karakhet. Pancake now and trying to get close to Karakit once again. Karakit seems like she's got defense in mind and counter. Good elbow there from Karakit. Seems like Pancake is just struggling to get close to her opponent. Yeah, and what she does, she's just getting wrapped up in that clinch, taking some knees, not able to get the elbows off. I'm sure what Pancake is doing, but she has to start moving forward. Yeah, a lot on the line in this fight for both women. Every second counts in a three-round fight. It surely does. But it's a very difficult matchup, almost like a chess match when two of the fighters are very happy to, to play the countering game. Right. It just seems like Karaket is a little bit better at the counter game so far. That's from what I noticed as well, the timing. 
He's been much better with that of, with that of uh, Pancakes. Another knee guard for Tower Kid. Bring her balance so well. And believe me, that technique is not easy to pull off. Especially during a match when your opponent is using their full strength. Once again with the knee guard. This time Pancake does continue to try to attack. But Karaket doing very well defensively. A good elbow landing there from Karaket. Yeah, good exchange. Starting to heat things up here. Still got a minute to go in our second round. Scheduled for three. But it just seems like Pancake is playing into Karaket's game plan time and time again. But now we're at that point of the match where Pancake really does need to push forward. Yeah, for sure. Not only push forward, but find a way past that defense of Karaket and the counters. Don't believe he's throwing many kicks in this matchup, but it seems like Karaket did get hurt there. He finally manages to throw a knee to the midsection. Long time coming, but he finally worked for that. He finally got that accurate shot that she needed. Back into the clinch we go again, no knee guard. Oh, spoke too soon. Knee guard finally came up for Karaket. But lost her balance. And that is the end of the second round. So there we see some of the action from our second round of our final fight on tonight's show. This one, the finals, the first place spot for the Global House eight man tournament in the women's 118 pound division. See some beautiful clinch work there from Pancake in that second round, pushing forward, working the elbows. Did a lot better towards the end of that round than she did uh, at the beginning. Gotta say, it's been an interesting round so far. I mean, you can say that Pancake CK Muay Thai has been the harder worker but on the other hand, Garakir has been the smarter fighter. Yeah, for sure. Definitely going back to that Moy Femur style we were talking about earlier in the night. Kind of embodies that. Just hanging back, countering effectively, fighting off the back foot. I mean, it may not be the most interesting style for the viewers back home, but it is a style that, get, that gets the job done. Yeah, you got to appreciate all styles. All styles of Muay Thai, especially when you have two different styles clashing like you see now. Pancake, very aggressive, but beautiful knee work there from Kataket that time. And sometimes I'm just wondering what is Pancake waiting for? Yeah. This is a time when she does need to push forward. She does connect with many knees. Kataket unable to get the knee guard up this time. The knee guard, despite being a defensive maneuver, can also score for you very well offensively. Yeah, just shows that you're dominant in that clinch. You're able to prevent your opponent from scoring any knees. Oh, did not look good there for Karaket, turning her side to her opponent. Pancake tried to take advantage of that moment. Wasn't able to do so. Back into the clinch, we go again. No knee guard from Karaket. Yeah, Pancake looking stronger now. You saw a wrenching down on the neck of Karaket. 
And it's now working for Pancake. He managed to find a way around the defense of Karakit. Now Pancake laying back perhaps a bit too much. Yeah. Same can be said though for Karakit. Karakit not landing with a kick. And there's a good knee for Pancake. The tide may be turning in Pancake's favor. Yeah, she's looking stronger. The corner definitely appreciating the work she's putting out this time. Pancake in this round. And now back to the stalemate. Who will be the first one to throw the attack? And again, this fight is way too close at this point for both ladies to be standing back. Good block there from Pancake. Pancake into the clinch once again. Okay, with a good hold though. Still got a minute to go here in our third and final round. Of our final fight on tonight's show. Could still be anybody's match. Both corners yelling at their athletes to push forward. And then again, the spinning technique. I mean, we've seen a lot of spinning techniques here tonight, but none of it really landing. I mean, George Vieira had a good elbow. Here we go, back into the clinch again. No knee guard from Karakit this time, once again. And it's the knee of Pancake landing the better of the two. Coming now to the final 20 second mark of this matchup. Back into the clinch we go again, and it seems like Pancake is trying to overpower Karakit. Taking the side of her opponent. And now it's the final 10 seconds. Who can really push on? Who can take advantage? Once again, getting her opponent into a side headlock. And that is the end of the third and final round. Who will go home as the Global House Tournament Champion of 118 pounds? And ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time we have for you. My name is Kevin Amlid. My commentary partner is John Walcott. And we'll see you next time on LWC Super Champ. Have a good night. Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of thrilling Muay Thai action, the winner and champion of the Global House 118-pound tournament is from the Red Corner. ครับผู้ชนะและแชมเปี้ยนของเราในสุดเวลรอบโกลบอลเฮาส์ครับเราบอกว่าผลงานยอดเยี่ยมเลยทีเดียวครับกับแชมป์ของเราวันนี้คร
และสาบับรองแชมป์ของเราก็มีเงินกลับบ้านไปถึง 30,000 บาทนะจากทาง Global House ขอเสียงปรบมือให้กับน้องแพนเค้กซีเคมวยไทยจิมสนุกเลยทีเดียวฮะต่อไปฮะจะเป็นรางวัลครับตำแหน่งฮะอันดับ3ครับนักชกจากประเทศฝรั่งเศสครับรับเงินรางวัลกลับบ้านไป 15,000 บาทซินดี้ซูเวสเตอร์ได้ด้วยครับแล้วก็อันดับ4ด้วยครับนางหงเลี้ยงประเสริฐครับรับไป 10,000 บาทครับผมยินดีด้วยกับนักมวยทุกท่านนะฮะในทัวร์นาเมนต์โกลบอลเฮาส์หนึ่งปอนด์นี้ด้วยครับยังมีรางวัลอื่นๆฮะที่เราจะเริ่มมอบกันในช่วงนี้ครับสำหรับ Fight of the Night หรือว่าคู่มวยดุเดือดประจำสัปดาห์ฮะก็ได้แก่คู่นี้ครับอันดับ3และ4ฮะนางหงและซินดี้ครับรับไป 10,000 บาทจากทาง Global House ครับยินดีด้วยเยี่ยมมันจริงๆครับยอนจริงๆครับและสำหรับนักมวยยอดเยี่ยมประจำสัปดาห์เขาโอ้วันนี้ปฏิเสธไม่ได้จริงๆฮะได้แก่โชคดำรงโชคบางแสนนะครับผมสุดยอดมากครับวันนี้โชคได้เยี่ยมเลยครับชนะน็อกไปเรียบร้อยครับแล้ววันนี้นี่คือความมันของเราที่ LWC Super c h a m p ครับทุกวันเสาร์17นาฬิกา30นาทีเป็นต้นไปครับอย่าลืมสัปดาห์หน้าครับจะเป็นสุกมวยรอบ Global House 8 Man Tournament ในพิกัดน้ำหนัก147ปอนด์ครับเป็นรอบชิงแชมป์เหมือนเดิมนะฮะจัดไปมันอีกแน่ๆนะครับผมยังมีมวยไทย5ยกลุมพีนีซะด้วยครับติดตามให้ดีครับมันทุกสัปดาห์จริงๆครับวันนี้ขอบคุณนะฮะกับการที่ฉลองครบรอบ26ปีของ Global House ศูนย์รวมวัสดุก,ก่อสร้างและของตั้งแต่งบ้านครบวงจรกว่า85สาขาทั่วประเทศไทยครับอยู่เลยไปที่เว็บไซต์นะฮะ w w w g l o b a l h o u s e c o t h หรือว่าแอปพลิเคชันคลิกแอนด์คอลเลกได้เลยนะจ๊ะขอบคุณเงินชัยโยสิทธิชื่อจำนำทะเบียนบริษัทออโต้เอ็กซ์จำกัดในกลุ่ม SCBX ครับขอบคุณมวยไทยเทรนนิ่งและอุปกรณ์มวยไทย f a i r t e x ซเลือกสินค้าได้ที่ w w w f a i r t e x c o m ได้เลยครับผมร่วมเสริมกีฬามวยไทยโปรโมเตอร์ลุมพินีรายการ l b c Super c h a m p ครับขอบคุณพลโทนรินมีสมบูรณ์ด้วยครับสำหรับผมแมทธิดีลาไปก่อนแล้วพบกันใหม่สวัสดีครับ